Hi everyone and welcome back to Mine Analysis YouTube channel, The Power of ServiceNow. Today we are beginning an exciting topic all around the CMDB or Configuration Management Database. Today we will be going over the CMDB basics, such as what actually is a CMDB, why is this so vital to modern day companies, and what makes the ServiceNow CMDB so special. I hope to make multiple CMDB videos in the future, so this will be part one in the new CMDB series. So first of all, what is a CMDB? So a CMDB is an acronym for Configuration Management Database, and this is essentially a centralized system that allows organizations to track, store, and manage information about their IT assets, components, or services which in the CMDB we refer to as configuration items or CIs, thus creating a single source of truth for your entire IT infrastructure. Now in the CMDB, we record information about the configuration items key attributes, which to put simply is a specific piece of information about a CI, such as the version, owner or status. Now, this is very important as, say, for example, we're upgrading the operating system on a PC. We need to know the current version that it's running on in order to do this. And we find this out by looking at its attributes. Now, one way that you can think of the CMDB is as a collection of tables, where each table contains data about a specific groups of CIs, such as all of the hardware components. And although this functions and looks like a table, in ServiceNow, we refer to these as CI classes, where in each CI class, we have rows detailing the configuration items and we have columns detailing those key attributes. Now, lastly, one of the most important features of a CMDB is that it also tracks relationships between different configuration items, as well as their dependencies on each other. Now, lastly, one of the most important features of a CMDB is that it also tracks relationships between different CIs, as well as their dependencies on each other. Now, these relationships are graphically mapped in what we call dependency views or service maps. So we can see clearly which CIs must work together in order to create value. And if one CI goes down or has an outage, we can immediately see the affected CIs that may also be impacted on this. Just to give a quick example of a type of CI relationship or dependency, I want you to think about how you're currently watching this YouTube video. Now it could be on your phone or a laptop and you're accessing it over the internet, which therefore relies a connection to a network which you access by a router. So your end device is dependent on a router in order to access the network and watch this video to perform your task. Now, next up, we're going to discuss why the CMDB is so vital. Most companies running in the 21st century rely very heavily on IT in order to keep their businesses running, even if the business itself has absolutely nothing to do with IT. Now, one challenge with this is IT can quickly become very costly and complicated to manage. Equipment is expensive to buy. There's reoccurring costs like software and cloud licenses, ongoing training and certifications for staff, as well as increasing investments in cybersecurity and AI to stay relevant in the modern marketplace. So a healthy and well-maintained CMDB really plays a critical role in cost optimization reducing unnecessary expenses, improving operational efficiency, and optimizing your IT investments. It is essential to establish a strong foundation for your CMDB early on, as the complexity of managing a CMDB increases significantly as a company scales and grows. Without proper organization, it can quickly become unmanageable, leading to serious business repercussions Poorly structured management can prolong outage resolution times, negatively impact customer service and loyalty, increase your security risks, and result in substantial financial losses for the company. 
just like the consequences Microsoft faced last year with the CrowdStrike outage, which had a global impact and cost the company billions. Now we understand the importance of a CMDB, why manage this vital process in ServiceNow? Well, at ServiceNow, we stand out. We are a platform designed around our CMDB. It's not an add-on. The CMDB acts as the heart and soul of our database and serves as the foundation for all of our applications and products, which are built on top of our platform. For example, with IT service management, you can raise incidents, problem and change requests on configuration items. You can view similar open incidents that have been created on the same configuration item to understand the scale of an issue and monitor what may have been affected by a change with dependency views. With customer service management, you can view which customers have been affected by an outage and begin to mitigate these effects by notifying your customers as soon as possible. Therefore, you don't have multiple of your customers raising cases, letting you know that there is a service outage. You can send out notifications onto the customer portal, letting them know you're handling it and trying to keep that relationship strong. And even with products like security operations, security relies on accurate information that you can trust. And with the CMDB providing this single source of truth, as well as real-time visibility, you can intelligently identify, assess and mitigate security threats and helping your security teams understand the blast radius of a potential attack. Because the CMDB can be leveraged by multiple different products in ServiceNow, or with their own use cases, it is really important that we ensure the CMDB data is structured in a way that works across the entire platform for everyone to understand. This is the purpose of the Common Services Data Model. I like to think of this as the contextual blueprint of the CMDB, helping it to follow best practices, making sure it follows the same format and is written in a common language that can benefit everyone. For example, one of its purposes is to define the standards for configuration items and the relationships between your different configuration items, ensuring that your data resides in the appropriate CMDB classes to maximize the value from all of the now platform applications. Now this brings me to the end of our first part in the CMDB series. So thank you all for watching and as always, please leave any comments and questions that you might have at the end. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.